Well, good Thursday morning to you folks. Hopefully you are uh, enduring this weather, um, this snow and this ice, and hopefully you're staying safe. Um, hopefully you had a good night's rest last night. I'm going to read to you from Then Sings My Soul. This is um, the first book, and this was from uh, Rich and Sherry Chafin. And so I'm going to read to you today. I don't believe I've done this one before. Maybe I have, but since I don't remember, maybe you won't either. Sweet By and By. This was written in 1868. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you, and that is John chapter 14 and verse 2. In 1868, a pharmacist named Sanford Fillmore Bennett, 31, was filling prescriptions and handling sales at his apothecary in Elkhorn, Wisconsin. His friend Joseph Webster entered the store. Joseph was a local musician, vocalist, violinist, and amateur composer who suffered from periods of depression. The two men had occasionally collaborated on hymns and songs Sanford writing the words and Joseph the music. On this particular day, Joseph was unusually blue and his face was long. Looking up, Sanford asked, What is the matter now? It's no matter, Joseph replied. It will be all right by and by. An idea for a hymn hit Sanford like a flash of sunlight. Sitting at his desk, he began writing as fast as he could. The words came almost instantly. Two customers entered the drugstore, but no attempt was made to assist them. Sanford was too absorbed in his poem. So they, sa they sallied over to the stove and visited with Joseph. Finally, Sanford rose and joined them, handing a sheet of paper to his friend. Here is your prescription, Joe. He said, I hope it works. Webster read the words aloud. There's a land that is fairer than day, and by faith we can see it afar. For the Father waits over the way to prepare us a dwelling place there. Instantly a tune suggested itself, and Joseph jotted down some notes. Picking up his fiddle, he played his melody over a time or two, then said to the others, we four make a good male quartet. Let's try the new song and see how it sounds. <laughs> As Sweet By and By was being sung for the first time, another customer, R. R. Crosby, entered the store. Gentlemen, he said, I have never heard that song before, but it is immortal. He was right. For over a hundred years, we've been singing an immortal hymn that was written in less than 30 minutes in a drugstore. <laughs> Pretty good. Um, I know how it is. I'm not saying I'm a great songwriter, but when a thought comes to your head, you just got to write it down. I used to write it down on whatever I had laying around. Well, cell phones are pretty easy nowadays just hit the voice recorder and record it into there and then rewrite it when you get home but let's give this one a shot there's a land that is fairer than day and by faith we can see it afar for the father waits over the way to prepare us a dwelling place there in the sweet by and by we shall meet on that beautiful shore in the sweet by and by we shall meet on that beautiful shore we shall sing on that beautiful shore The melodious songs of the blessed And our spirit shall sorrow no more Not a sigh for the blessings of rest In the sweet by and by 
we shall meet on that beautiful shore in the sweet by and by we shall meet on that beautiful shore to our bountiful Father above. We shall offer our tribute of praise for the glorious gift of His love and the blessings that hallow our days in the sweet by and by we shall meet on that beautiful shore in the sweet by and by we shall meet on that beautiful shore Well, like I said, I don't know if I'd sang that one, if I read you that story or not, but um, one thing about it, um, when we get there, we won't be so consumed with what was happening here. Uh, what is the song uh, that says when we get over there, we can ask him why certain things happened here? I'm, I'm not going to worry about that. I don't believe I'll worry about that a bit, why anything happened here. Uh, all these things here will pass away. All things will be new, uh, and I'm not going to be so consumed with what happened here. Uh, today, maybe yes, but then no. In the sweet by and by, one day reunited with our loved ones and united with him for the first time in a body that he gives to us that we know is not going to be flesh and blood whatever it's going to be he's going to be the same and we will be there with him for eternity lord i thank you for the day you've given us god i pray that you would watch over and bless lord you know those that watch this those that listen to this um, daily god i pray that you will strengthen them give them help today you would give them encouragement lord i pray that you would bless them lord to continue to look to you for help and strength that only you can give they can find help occasionally through a devotion or a song but god we know that the true help that is needed is going to come through your word and is going to come from you speaking to the hearts of the hearers lord help us today to walk the path that you would have for us to walk we love you, and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, folks, and we'll see you Friday.